Hello Randomous Gamers, today we are going to play Hacknet. Now this is a hacking uh, simulator game that uh, teaches you some-ish hacking skills, but it's you, you won't be able to hack anyone for real after this. So uh, let's make a, a new user registration. Our uh, username will be, um, let's do uh, Slurp. And our password is going to be um, 694269blazeit. Uh, 694269blazeit. Uh, uh, once created, your language can be changed. Okay, enter to confirm. It's, it's booting up the computer. Okay. This makes n no sense, but it's kind of kind of cool. What's this? 14-day timer expired. Initialization fail safe. Dot dot dot. Hi. This is strange. Stranger than I expected. I guess I'm supposed to write this in pa past tense, though I hardly feel like admitting this over. My name is Bit, and if you're re reading this, I'm already dead. <sighs> no, not Bit. I don't know nothing about you, and I'm already sad. This slash loading modules complete, loading nodes complete, reticulating splines complete. Tutorial. As of right now, you're at risk. Learn quickly as possible. Begin the tutorial sequence by pressing the continue button below. Connect to a computer by typing connect and the IP in the terminal or by clicking on the node on the network map. Connect to your own computer by click clicking the green circle on the map. Good work. The first thing to do in any system is to scan it for adjacent nodes. This will reveal more computers on your map that will that you can use. Scan the computer now. So I'm gonna scan the network. Or you could have typed in scan. Which I don't see a thing, so never mind. Um that's all you need to do for, uh, from your own server for now. Disconnect from your machine. So you can hit disconnect. Oh, excuse me. It's time for you to connect to your outside computer. Be aware that attempting to compromise the security of another computer is illegal under the USC Act. 1030-18 Proceed by your own risk So click on this one Uh, This VM's terminal module has been activated This will be your primary interface for navigating and interacting with nodes A command can be pressed by typing it out or by pressing and pressing enter Blah 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 You can use nmap Oh nmap to look at all the ports and you can see at the top it says uh, open ports required for crack zero so we can instantly run uh, the port hack and it will start working down here and when that's done we have access to this computer okay so now we have um, we're the admin uh, okay Tutorials blinding us here, so we can scan, and now we can log in with the uh, port hack. Now we got the password for this computer because we did the port hack. Now we can look at all the file systems. Uh, you can also use this for CD, which I'll use later on because it makes me look cool. And uh, let's navigate to the bin folder, and then look at config.txt. Uh, there's nothing here for you, so you can use cd dot dot to go back or just hit this button. And well, it's gonna make us do it. Okay, we can do cd uh, slash log, and then we can do rm with the asterisk, and that removes all the files. Because every time we open up a file and log into a computer, it will show up in their log. And um, so we have to remove that each time. 
where you, we are leaving that computer. So to disconnect, you can type in disconnect or DC. And now we're not on the computer no more. Um, just give me one second. Okay, you can clear the tutorial. Now you can find the process ID, which is, uh, uh, I don't remember. I know it's like app list. Um, PS. And then we can uh, kill 44. So PS shows you all the processes that are running on your computer. Uh, stands for processes, I guess. And you can see that tutorial version 1, but 16.2 uh, is uh, the ID is 44. So you can just type in kill 44 and it kills the tutorial. And now we're out of the tutorial. So we can go back to our computer, we can view our file system, and look at all this stuff. So we have securitytracer.exe. So all the exes we have, so you can hit that. You can hit tab to automatically fill out stuff. And then you can look what else we have. Um, X server is uh, what your layout looks like, but we can get more into that later. Um, here's our log. Uh, we can look through our stash, our misc. We really have nothing on here. So uh, we have a mail. So at the top right, we're just going to click this. First contract from Bit. Hi, I don't know you, and I'm sad to say that I never will. But if you're reading this, it means that you might be the only person that can make things right. Right now, I'm trapped. There's no way out and not enough time, and I need your help. But there's something you need to take care of first. The faster, the better. Hacknet OS wasn't meant to be released as it is now. After a while, an automated tracker will activate itself. We can't let that happen. Connect to your own node. It should be green. And then find and delete your security tracer.exe. When you're done, just reply to this email. So, we're going to type in cd. cd slash bin. And then rm. You can do uh, the whole thing, but I'm just going to type it out. So, um, now we can go back to the email. And oh no, you can click this, and it gives you notes. Uh, what reminds you what to do on the side, but it does take up some of your RAM, so you have to watch out. So we're gonna reply. You don't really have to type anything, but we can just say done, pause, and send it, and it's done. So uh, uh, great. Now that blah 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 from your own computer you should start by checking up on a friend of mine he goes by the name of viper awful i know he's honestly not the brightest crayon in the box but he always seems to get a hold of useful code um get into his files finding something useful might be a bit of a challenge you can download any files by using the scp demand command so um he gives us an ip and with that IP, we can click on his computer. We can end map it, which scans for the ports. So there's zero ports to crack, so we can automatically just do port hack. And when that's done, we can type in CD or click in view, view file system. And we can go to bin and we can scp the sshcrack.exe. Now it's on our computer. Now we can go cd and then cd slash log and then rm asterisk and that removes that. Type in dc. So now we got that and we have the ssh um, crack. So now we can just reply to that email and that's done. Made in flight. Congratulations. I honestly have no way of knowing if you succeeded in this responder, but if you're seeing this, it means you are at least found something. I'm going to assume it's something really useful. You should try breaking down any of my old test servers. Um, so this tells you, if you type in the SSH crack and then the port number, it runs the crack. Excuse me, I'm really hungry. So um, we can uh, get, click on his uh, test server, and we can try to crack it. So if we use nmap, now uh, type and then you see SSH 
crack and then you see it's port 22 so we type in 22 and when that's all green we can finally use our port hack because this is open ports required for crack one so um, now that's open we can use our port hack and there you go password found so now uh, we can view the file system it's been nothing uh you know, we should uh take his uh his X server really fast well it's kind of cool but I can show you so um test file that text I think we have to take that with us and give it to him I don't know what this X server is so I'm just gonna download it you have unlimited space oh didn't even click that so uh test file terminal guide Oh, this gives you, this shows you how to do stuff. You can find really cool Easter eggs if you just click on these logs. Um, I'm too lazy to read all that. So let's go, go to our computer. Uh, uh, everything you download will be in system. So we are just going to uh, rename. Or is the CP? Copy. Uh, I forgot. So anytime if you need help, you just type it help. So MV, MV move, move uh the L X server to X dash server. Er. game is really too complicated so did that work this is awkward I really want to do this uh, I got about like three minutes left mmm I don't know where that went. I I'll copy this really fast. So it was in home. I'm gonna do uh, SCP. Test server transfer complete. Go back to our computer. Uh, file system, system, and then let's do uh, MV. Move our X server. To slash sys slash x server old dot sys. There we go. So uh, we basically renamed it. That's how you rename stuff. You have to type in the slash sys because it brings it to this directory and then it renames it. So we are going to move the lex server to sys slash x server and it will copyright it not copyright it overwrite it sorry and i messed that up too because i didn't add the sys and so that's just x server And I forgot the space. <sighs> okay, it worked. So, uh, now if we restart our computer, uh, top left, let's go and hit save. And then exit the main menu. And then continue with slurp. And our thing's a little different. So, um, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, if you guys want more, like, completing the game, we still have to, uh, we still have to do this quest, which is, uh, breaking two more computers. But, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please leave a like. If you want to see more of this, uh, hit subscribe and leave a comment below. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I really enjoy talking to you again.
it's been a while, but, um, thank you guys for everything you guys have done, and, uh, peace.